Ugh, I'm so tired. I was working on some stuff I brought home, and it's almost midnight. Oh yeah, tomorrow's my birthday, but I'm always alone on my birthday, so whatever. Oh, it's midnight. Happy birthday to me. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll work a bit more and then go to bed. Huh? Who could be here at midnight? This is scary. Thinking that, I nervously checked the monitor to see the front door. What? I immediately headed to the door. Happy birthday! Imawari? I came to celebrate your birthday. Thank you. Come on in for now. The person who suddenly showed up at my place in the middle of the night was my co-worker, Akatsuki Himawari. She's really popular at work because she's so cute and beautiful. She's honest and kind and everyone likes her. She's also a bit of an airhead, which people find adorable. We happened to sit next to each other, and as I helped her with various things as her senior, we became friends. And the truth is, I've fallen in love with her. Wow, your place is really nice. I'm happy my crush suddenly came over, but what's going on? Are you drinking nearby? Yeah, with Sakina and the others. So you came to my place this late? Yes, I'm really sorry for showing up so late at night. I thought you'd be working since you took work home today. I was worried it might bother you. But I just really wanted to celebrate your birthday right away. I see. I think I get it now. It must have been Sakina and the others who put her up to this. She seems pretty drunk. Sorry for interrupting your work. It's okay. I'm actually happy you came to celebrate my birthday. Thank you. So, I also got you a birthday present. What? Really? Thanks for going out of your way. The present is me. What? I love you, so as a present, I'm giving you myself. Wait, what are you saying? Do you not want me to be your girlfriend? Uh, no, 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 it's not that! I've liked her from the start, and this is like a dream come true! That's great! So we're officially dating now! Uh, yes! <laughs> is this really happening? Thank you! I love you so much! Don't hug me all of a sudden! This must be a dream! The next day, for some reason, I was called to the president's office with her. Shinonome, sorry to call you in. No problem. May I ask what this is about? I heard you and my daughter are now a couple, so I wanted to say hello. What? Daughter? This is my dad! And this is my lovely daughter. You two are related? Kept it a secret because if everyone knew she was the president's daughter, she gets special treatment. Even though she's my daughter, she's such a serious and good kid. It surprises me. By the way, your face has been red this whole time. Are you okay? I'm just embarrassed because I confessed to you while drunk, but I'm happy to be with you. You're adorable. <laughs> I've been hearing about you from my daughter every day, and I've been watching you at work, too. You two are always getting along well, so if you're going to be her partner, I'm fine with it. I've already arranged a new place for you two to live. You can move in today. What? It's a birthday present for you. Please, take good care of my daughter. After work, we went to the new place the president had arranged. This is a huge mansion! 
so big and beautiful. It's a nice place, thanks to my dad. How much would I have to climb the ranks to be able to live in a place like this? No, more importantly, am I really going to live here with you from today? Is this really okay? Sorry, this is all happening so fast, I can't keep up, but there's one important thing I want to ask. Sure, ask me anything. Why did you fall for me? Because you're kind. I joined the company while hiding the fact that I was the president's daughter. So you must have thought that I was just a regular employee. Yeah, that's right. I, you were always so kind to me. Even when I made mistakes, you never got angry. You helped me fix them. I asked the same questions over and over because I didn't understand many things. But you still patiently and kindly taught me. And not just you. You were kind to all the other juniors too. Watching you be like that made me fall in love with you. Kimawari. I never imagined she saw me like that in her daily life. Happiness welled up inside me. I respect you, too. Your cheerful and energetic presence brightens up the office and makes it fun. And you're the only one who can make customers and clients smile like that. Even though there's so much you don't know, you work hard and give it your all. And I think that's amazing. Senior. I'm so happy that you feel the same way. I love you. Thank you. It feels like a dream to be able to live with you. You really love me too, don't you? Wait, you knew? I wasn't confident that you liked me back, but apparently it was quite the topic around the office. Other seniors and colleagues were telling me to date you soon. I had no idea. I thought it was just interacting normally with her, but apparently, others saw it differently. So last night, Sakina and the others pushed me forward thinking about me. They've been worrying about me because I couldn't confess to you no matter how long it took. But showing up in the middle of the night was a bit much. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's totally fine. Actually, thank you for gathering the courage to come and tell me how you feel. Yeah. And so, our cohabitation life began. Wake up! Up. Uh, just five more minutes. Don't wake up, I'm gonna kiss you. Good morning! <clears throat> I'm awake now. I managed to wake up properly, so I kissed you. Either way, I was gonna get kissed? Senior! What? I love you. I'm melting from this morning. I'll make breakfast, so please wait a moment. You look adorable in that apron. Thank you. I love you. What good deeds did I do in my past life? Here's breakfast. Here you go. Mmm, delicious. You're cute. I'm getting all fluttery. I want to hug you right now. There's just one thing I'd like to ask. Sure, go ahead, anything. I call you Senior, but I could start calling you by your name from now on? That's not too much to ask. Of course, that's fine. Thank you. Alright then, Ray. Kimawari, what is it? 
I'm so happy. I'm so happy too. I feel like I might burst. Since we're off today, want to go out together? Sounds good. Anywhere specific you want to go? There's places I want to take you to. Let's go there then. Okay. Where's this? It's the Maldives. I thought we were getting on a private jet, but we're actually overseas! The blue! The sky and the sea are such a beautiful blue! It's so moving! I wanted you to come see a new world, Ray. Let's come back here for our honeymoon. Let's go swimming then. Sorry, wait a sec. What are you doing to make my heart race like this? My girlfriend is just too cute. <laughs> I'm gonna splash you too! <laughs> ah, it's cold! Feels good. Eek! Careful! Ah! We were in a position like we were about to hug each other. And we're staring at each other. Ray. <sighs> Is she waiting for a kiss? Um... Oh no, what should I do? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I love those cute moments of yours. Can she be this adorable? We had so much fun. The sun is beautiful, isn't it? I wish time could just stop like this. Yeah, that would be nice. Ray, I love you so much. Later at the company, everyone celebrated and congratulated us for becoming a couple. Although her being the president's daughter was a secret, she was already very popular in the office. Naturally, there were many male colleagues who felt frustrated. But I could only be grateful to everyone for celebrating with us. Congratulations! Way to go! Ray, I love you! Thank you. I love you too. In our happy days, we affirmed our feelings for each other and we officially became engaged. Then one day, I was summoned to the president's office again with her. Nice to meet you. I'm her mother. Huh? Your mom? Not your older sister? They call me a beautiful witch. There's a limit even to being a beautiful witch. I've heard a lot about you. It seems you're officially engaged to my daughter. Yes, I will definitely make her happy. Good. Then let's test you then. Huh? A test? Being my daughter's husband means you'll eventually take over this company. Naturally, you need to prove yourself worthy of that role. From now on, you'll receive education to become the president of this company. It'd be tough for someone like you who's lived a normal life until now. But if you can't overcome it, I won't approve of your marriage to my daughter. If you give up, she'll marry another suitable man. Mom, that's harsh! Don't decide things on your own like that! This is for your happiness. And I'm the president. You're an employee. You must obey orders. Huh? President? Oh, I'm actually the vice president. Really? 
All right, it's settled then. Let's start your education right away. Hey! It's okay. Your mom's right about this too. I'll do my best to marry you. I'm counting on you with my daughter. And so, I ended up striving to earn her mother's approval. Here's your schedule starting today. Huh? What's all this? You also need to read these books and understand them by tomorrow. We'll have a test later. How many books are there? And by tomorrow? What do you think about the Japanese economy? Please, discuss considerations when inheriting from others. Damn it! Be happy, okay? What's your favorite manga? This is too much all of a sudden! You can't rely solely on bodyguards. Protect yourself! Ouch! <laughs> You're weak. I'm okay. Please, try again. You've definitely got guts. Alright, let's step it up a notch. Ouch! Since the education to take over the company began a few days ago, her mother has been relentless. Honestly, this is unbelievably tough. Are you okay? You're covered in bruises. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Besides, your mom makes sure I don't really get hurt. I'm sorry. I couldn't stop my mom, even my dad. It's okay, really. Because this is necessary. And it's for marrying you, after all. I'll do my best no matter what. You really okay with that? Huh? Lately, I've been thinking, if I hadn't told you how I felt, maybe you wouldn't have to go through all this. You're kind and wonderful, so there's definitely someone better out there for you than me. Maybe there was a way for you to be happier without going through this pain. Ah, uh, I see. But even if I could go back, I'd still choose this path again. Huh? Why? Because I love you. Oh! Since you joined the company as my junior, work became so much fun for me. Even on tough days, I looked forward to seeing you at work. That's what kept me going every day. Even if there were another path, it wouldn't mean anything if you weren't by my side. So let me do my best. I want to walk with you forever. Aww, I love you so much. Thank you. I love you too. Work so hard every day, so please lean on me. I'll do anything for you. Like giving you a knee pillow. <laughs> Thanks. It feels really nice. Thank you, for working so hard for my sake. I'll do my best. So will you wait for me? Of course. I'll wait for you as long as it takes. Then, after a month, half a year, a year, and then another year passed. Perfect score. You passed. Thank you so much. Ray, you did it. I can't believe how much you've grown in just two years. Thanks to your guidance. You really endured such tough education. Impressive. I'm sorry for being so strict, and thank you for overcoming it. Truly worthy to succeed me. Take care of my daughter, okay? Are you really sure about this? I still feel like I'm not mature enough. 
Yeah, but you endured my education for her sake. It was like giving a crash course to someone who's been groomed for greatness since childhood. Well, that's how it was, huh? What I wanted to see was whether you truly care about my daughter or not. So, be proud of yourself. I want to entrust my daughter to you. Got it. I'll definitely make her happy. <sighs> Ray! You two seem close. You can take a day of rest off and relax together. Well then, I have work to do, so I'll leave you two to it. Amazing. It's really incredible that my mom approves of you. Huh? Is that so? Yeah, you're cool. I really like you. <laughs> Thanks. There's something I want to give you. What is it? Happy birthday. You remembered? Even though you're busy as ever? There's no way I'd forget my special someone's birthday. Open it up. Okay. Huh? Is this... It's an engagement ring. It's beautiful. I couldn't give it to you until your mom approved, so I really want to give it to you today. Oh. I'm so happy, but is it okay for me to receive so much happiness? I'm the one who's happy because you're here. These past two years, I've been able to push through because you've been by my side supporting me. So thank you. I love you. I will make you happy no matter what. So please, marry me. Yes, of course. I'll definitely make you happy too. Thank you. I'm so glad I met you. Me too. And so, over a decade later... Yeah, thanks. Take it easy and rest up. Why is the house pitch black? Maybe everyone's gone out? Hmm, didn't get a message from her though. The lights are... Huh? Dad, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh, thank you! You surprised me! Surprise? It was a big success! Yay! Haha, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to spend time at home instead of a fancy restaurant. Dad, we made cake together with Mom. Oh, really? You helped with cooking too, Reyna? That's great. Reyna? Happy birthday. Wow. Mom and Dad are loving Dubby today too. Hug. But seriously. <laughs> What's up? Dad, you're crying? Yeah, just remembering something from the past, you know? I spent many birthdays alone for years, but my life changed since the day you came into it. That's nostalgic, but it goes both ways, you know? You've brought me happiness, too. Thank you. I love you. I love you, too. Wow! Alright, I prepared a feast, so let's eat together! This spread is amazing, and the room decorations are incredible, too. It's really special to be celebrated on my birthday like this. I used to spend my birthdays alone all the time. That's why now, I'm truly grateful for the happiness right in front of me. Thank you, Himawari, Reina. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.